Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against the Year. I'd like to announce a new release of BBC Chess Engine and this time we have the version 1.3 and it supports Stockfish efficiently update updatable neural networks. So it's playing much stronger compared to uh, the previous version. By the way, regarding the previous version, so uh, the test for uh, version 1.1 uh, has been ended and it got the score of, uh, well not the score, it got the rating of uh, 2096 uh, there is a link on CCRL to actually uh, give you an idea where, where this comes from and uh, a bit interesting thing uh, is going on with the version 1.2 which I consider to be actually the stronger uh, uh, version than 1.1 due to the reason that it actually uses some uh, mobility and kin safety uh, parameters in its evaluation for function, but according to uh, Gaber Schatz, uh, the guy from CCRL who's testing my engine, uh, well, he said that actually uh, 1.2 version is not stronger than 1.1, uh, on the contrary, it uh, might be even weaker. Well, this is a bit confusing to me, but anyway, we just left this untested, so uh, you can test this on your own basically. But anyway, uh, well, uh, I don't actually remember whether the 1.1 version actually does contain uh, the dynamic... Uh, let me just see that. The, the, the dynamic hashing or not. So I, I should have seen this in the look, basically. Okay. Yeah, it already has the dynamic hash memory allocation. Yeah, so... It already does have the perfect, but uh, BBC 1.2 has some uh, forfeits on time bug fixes and some uh, actually more bug fixes. So you can just comment out all the non-material and P square table code from the evaluation to well, <laughs> it seems like it would be stronger in that case. It's a little bit confusing, but anyway. But anyway, it doesn't really matter that matter that much because uh, after actually adding this uh, Stockfish NNE we don't really need to care much about that uh, because the most of the game BBC 1.3 would be using the Stockfish NNE and only in the end game uh, it would switch back to its uh, handcrafted evaluation just to speed up the engine and not to lose on time and actually be being capable of finding mate in ultra fast time controls because without that it actually fails to find a mate because the depth is like three to four when uh, there are there are kind of a couple of seconds left on the clock and it just fails to find the mate in position uh, find a mate in sequence if uh, uh, if that low depth uh, is hit like three or four plies so in order to avoid that disaster I, I decided to use the handcrafted evaluation when it comes closer to the end game and now it works quite pretty nicely another little good news about this is that actually well uh, I had a match uh, versus Vice Engine and the count was something around uh, 11 points for BBC 1.3 with Stockfish and any and only 3 points to a Vice Chess Engine so it's crushing uh, Vice horribly and uh, the next video probably most likely would be dedicated to some highlights uh, of that match to just to give an idea of the new improved playing style of BBC 1.3 another little uh, important uh, maybe not little maybe a big important news is that from now on the license uh, of BBC has changed to G uh, GNU, uh, GNU GPL3 uh, exa exactly the same license uh, as used for Stockfish, because uh, if we're uh, actually sharing some code from Stockfish or it's uh, an NE uh, file, doesn't matter really. So it, it's all under the license, uh, general public public license version 3.0. So just, just to give you an idea, this this matters a lot because the previous versions, well, so just, just to give you an idea, what, I'm, what am I talking about? So the previous versions, we go to the source folder so here old versions up to 1.2.c they have been using this license uh, i don't want to pronounce this to avoid losing the monetization 
opportunities in future for this video so this is the license name and by the way it's the official license you can see that uh, github actually recognizes this license so it's even though some offensive words in it still it's kind of real license that exists out there and they say like this is the easiest license out there it gives user permissions to do whatever they want with your code but starting from this 1.3 version uh, it's no longer available to do whatever you want with this code because you need to uh, deal with the fact that part of a Stockfish code is used here as well and Stockfish and NUE is used so uh, the license limitations uh, in regards to GNU GPL 3.0 should be applied and you need to respect those okay so um, what else to say uh, I'm also going to update my Mm, I'm also going to update my online GUI so at the moment it still plays with the version 1.2 uh, which is getting crushed by uh, human players who are at the candidate master or master level uh, but at the moment I'm facing some issues because well for some reason uh, the Python chess library is not capable of working properly with this any new version well it should be absolutely the same from the UCI perspective but still uh, I'm not sure but for some reason it's not really working that greatly so, so th that great so uh, I also need to take care of it at spend a little time to make sure everything is working so the very last thing to show uh, so this is the latest release here and please note that any file has been included into the release so just to give you a quick idea on well for those of you who are non-programmers guys but uh, also want to play with this new and improved version by the way uh, i've added the windows uh, compatibility uh, uh, that was covered in the previous video how exactly i managed to do that so uh, let me just quickly show you the steps on how to download and install uh, bbc 1.3 with stockfish uh, uh, nne to your local system and run it with arena in my case i would be using the arena gui so first uh, you need to download either linux if you're on linux or windows if you're on windows executable so it gets downloaded quite pretty fast and then you need to download the nne file regardless of operating system well obviously you can download the source code and, com and compile it on your own but in that case you need to have the compiler so uh, feel free to do that as well so it takes a little bit of a time on my system because I have a slow internet and uh, the file size is around 20 megabytes uh, but anyway as soon as this is done we can already now uh, we, we would be able to use it basically so yeah just let's wait a little bit until it's done well for now I can just try to create a folder let's call it BBC and just want to put the engine into this folder paste and also paste the NNE file to the same folder as well okay so I just cut it and paste in then we, we can cut this folder and paste this to arena in particular to engines folder so just right over in here paste and then uh, run arena and go into engines manage details new and just need to find this engines and this is my bbc folder uh, i'm ch uh, i'm taking this uh, i'm choosing this linux uh, version of my engine in, in, in if you're on windows this would be the windows version respectively but uh you need to make 100 percent sure that this nnu file is located at exactly the same folder where the engine executable lives so i just open in this uh engine uh uci uci by default this is it uh bbc like this author cmk country ukraine and apply okay and now manage select and just select this engine click apply yes and you're done and now you just can set up the level let's go to let's try to play like blitz two plus one okay start a new game 
and we can play chess already. So uh, enjoy this human style play. So you see, like it's already calculating uh, the Sicilian defense, which uh, which doesn't usually happen in uh, handcrafted evaluations. So it's incredibly interesting to play as a human. So first of all, uh, the reason why I made this. Uh, uh, the reason why I, I did embed this uh, Stockfish NNE is uh, because I just wanted to give strong human players an, an opportunity to play versus uh, interesting uh, engine like uh, with the, with its interesting evalu evaluation because uh, the handcrafted evaluation, well, at least uh, the way it was done in BBC, it wasn't really that. Uh, good in the opening. Well, obviously you can connect the opening book uh, always, but anyway, uh, here we can play without opening book, and it really plays like human style chess, which I personally really like so much. So this this is incredibly interesting. Well, uh, I'm gonna lose this game quite pretty quickly. I've already I'm already losing this uh, dark square bishop. Uh, but that's not the point. I just wanted to give you an idea that it actually plays chess. It's uh, around 65% slower, so the depth that is hidden is less compared to what it was in version 1.2, but the overall strength should be, well, at least 200 elo points stronger than uh, the previous version. Uh, well, at least than 1.2 version, uh, at very least. I really hope that Gaber would test this at CCRL. Uh, and uh, I will soon know the new rating for this NNU version and I will definitely uh, give you uh, that rating number. So feel free to, to, to play versus this new improved version of BBC on your own as a human player or so just run a test versus other engines. It now should be playing with 2100's uh, engines at, uh, at, least equal, uh, at least equal level. Uh, so that's that's basically it. Well, okay, guys. So this is it from my side. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will show you uh, some games played uh, by BBC 1.3 with Stockfish and NUE versus Vice Chess Engine by Blue Fever Software, and that match uh, was crushingly won by BBC. Uh, the count was for about uh, 11 points for BBC and three points for Vice. Incredible result, to be honest, and the games are very exciting as well. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Until that time, and take care.